Spider-Man fans, we have some more Spider news to talk about this week, and this time it's about a possible team-up between Spider-Man and Ant-Man and Daredevil. Now I will say that these are just rumors, but if Spider-Man 4 went in this direction, things could get interesting. So let's talk about it. What's up everyone and welcome back to Jones Vibes. Hit the like button to show some support on the web and let's dive in. So today I wanted to dive back into some of the Spider-Man stuff because there were a few different stories that spun out after I released my last video talking about Spider-Man 4 and there is some stuff here that is potentially pretty freaking wild if it were to be true. A lot of this honestly revolves around the fact that Marvel and Sony have seemed to have worked up some sort of new deal and are fast-tracking Spider-Man 4 now. And aside from that, there's this rumor that as of now, Spider-Man is going to play a massive role in the future Avengers films. I think that Tom Holland is easily one of the best choices to sort of put the MCU's future in his hands and him along with Anthony Mackie and Brie Larson and Simu Liu. I think that this could make for a really powerful team and it seems like they would have a lot of chemistry. But today, let's talk about Spider-Man 4 and the current rumors coming off of X from a semi-reliable scooper and writer for the Cosmic Circus. He recently gave a synopsis for Spider-Man 4 and obviously take this with a grain of salt. It's not official, but it is fun to speculate. So he said, Kingpin as the mayor of NYC puts into effect a law that outlaws vigilantism, targeting heroes like Spider-Man and Daredevil, among others, and establishes a bounty hunt for these heroes where several villains pop in for their shot at taking down Spidey and DD. And hypothetically, let's say that this is the case. I think that this movie would kind of rule. It feels like it would be extremely action-packed and probably have a more street-level gritty tone. I love bringing Kingpin into the fold as well as filling this movie with multiple villains, but my feeling is that they can't just be disposable villains. And please, 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 let's hope that they're not the Sony villains. Well, maybe Venom. I don't know. Venom's undecided. But to me, it does does sound heavy. Spider-Man has always been in danger of being killed. I mean, you had Vulture, you have Mysterio, like, it felt tough enough, and, like, the stakes were there, but aside from that, it's just been, like, big, fantastical Avengers film-level threats where, like, the whole world is in jeopardy. But what happens when highly trained and extremely dangerous villains are tracking him just with that one goal in mind? Like, for some reason, I'm picturing a Joker-esque feeling from, like, The Dark Knight, where he's not holding anything back and he won't stop at anything until he gets what he wants and even then it doesn't matter it's just chaos dark chaos like really hammer down how intense this is and how serious this is because that's the vibe that the netflix daredevil and the punisher series that's the vibe that those shows have and then you you know in this you bring in daredevil and how would he play into it i think that daredevil born again would be releasing before this and so that's how you could set up fisk as mayor but how do you see matt and Peter interacting. We had that one scene in No Way Home super quick, and so we didn't get much of a sense of what that would be like, but that is something. Obviously, Matt now wouldn't remember who Peter was, but Peter would still remember Matt Murdock. Personally, I just think that this is a pretty cool idea. I am a little unsure about it. I'd have to really see what's going on here, you know, who the villains are gonna be and how it's all gonna work. Can Daredevil and Spider-Man work together? Like, I don't know. Nonetheless, this is very interesting, and it definitely caught my attention. Something else that caught my attention are some rumors coming out about Spider-Man 4 potentially being like a street level civil war, bringing together multiple characters. And this is where Ant-Man actually comes in. The sort of reliable scooper Daniel Rickman has said that he's heard that Scott Lang will be in the film. And a lot of people are running with this and saying like, Peter doesn't need any more mentors and he's replacing Tony Stark. And now it's going to be Scott Lang as the mentor for Peter. And I say, slow down a little bit. I think that him replacing Tony Stark dark thing is absolute BS. And this movie could work. If it was a Civil War style movie, you need more characters. When you think about Captain America Civil War, as a film, it works. You somehow have Steve, Tony, and T'Challa all serving as main characters with their own arcs, not to mention Bucky. And it still manages to be a Captain America film, and it freaking rules. And if we can get back to that, if you can tie together Peter, Scott, 
Matt Murdock getting mixed into some sort of high stakes street level plot line that's either filled with villains going after Daredevil and Spider-Man or for some reason heroes coming after them in some sort of civil war. I think that as much as some people don't want to hear this, this is the type of movie that the MCU needs right now. I, as much as the next guy, would love just a trilogy of Peter in New York finding his way, but the multiverse that surrounds this iteration of Peter Parker is just too crazy. There's too much going on for that. We can hope and dream, but it's going to have to connect to the other characters, especially with Peter possibly being the main character in both upcoming Avengers films. However, that all gets reworked now that Jonathan Majors was let go. So I really think that this is going to be unique. Echo is going to set the tone for this street level gritty MCU stuff and then Daredevil and you can bring that same tone to the big screen while mixing much larger elements that end up tying into the way bigger picture. There's a lot to this, and I think that no matter what, in order to do this all right, in order for this idea to be good, Daredevil Born Again has to be a smash hit. Like, it has to be really good. Because Tom Holland's Spider-Man has already worked up to a certain level of quality, and you don't want to bring that quality down to suffer. Whatever is added to this movie should elevate the character of Spider-Man, because Peter Parker still has his own solo arc going, and that's what matters most. So yeah, a lot of Spider-Man 4 speculation and news coming out recently. It's honestly just been exciting. Spider-Man's one of my favorite comic book characters, and so it's always good to talk about him. But guys, what do you think? Do you think any of this makes sense for a Spider-Man 4? Do you have any ideas as to what else they could do? Please start the conversation down in the comments. I'd love to know what you guys are thinking. Also, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. You can follow me on X at Jones Vibes Only. Subscribe if you're new here, and don't forget to keep up the good vibes, guys. But will Spider-Man 4 be Spider-Man Civil War? I guess we're gonna have to find out. Jones vibes.